Hey folks, it's John P. And today we're gonna to talk about techniques for fixturing things to the table, specifically using various kinds of stops. First, we've got a pin stop. We've also got an edge stop. And then we've got various sizes, but these are all sliding stops. Let's start with the pin stops. I've got a couple of pieces of tubing. I wanna get them in the right place. I'm gonna stick it here and pull it over. I'm gonna stick it here, pull it over. Once I've got them in place, I'll put a little clamp on them. That'll hold them where they need to be, and we're done. Uh, obviously, the good is the what you just saw. The bad is these little pins have a little bit of play in the holes, okay? So if I want to push up against it, it's always, it's always going to go to the same spot. That's, that's easy, but it's not as secure as using some of the other techniques. So the sliding stops, I can put them up against this tubing, and I could pull this out. These stay where they were. The same thing applies between the sliding stop and the edge stop. These were just using the edge of the table as a positive uh, fixture point. So if you have a bunch of these, they can do lots of different things. In addition to you know normal fixturing like I just showed you, they can hold this kind of material. You can also even attach them to other things to reach up and support material in different directions. How do you attach these things? Okay, so first of all, uh, the easiest way by far is with this, with these little ball pins. And I've got another video about how these work. Uh, I'm, uh, certainly one option is just nuts and bolts. That's your cheapest option, but it's a little slower. Slightly quicker are these little threaded hole adapters. So you'll notice there's a magnet and these are threaded. So what we can do is stick this on the inside here and we're gonna convert that hole into a nut and then I can put my bolt right through there and just screw it in. The much quicker way is to take that pin, stick it in the hole and turn and we're done. I mean, that is tight, that's not moving. So there's actually three different ones that we stock uh, for a standard table where we're using the one quarter inch thick plate on the top and we're attaching a one quarter inch thick piece, then we need a one half inch deep ball lock. But if you had a 3 8 inch top, for example, then you need a slightly longer, you need the 5 8 ball lock. If you were doing something else like a half inch thick top to other stuff, then we've got this one, which has a fully height adjustable. I mean, it could go from pretty small up to way over one inch thick of stuff being clamped together. Drop any questions below if there's anything we can answer. Until then, thumbs up. I'm out of here. Bye.